A narcissist is so terrified of your light that they think of nothing but destroying you whenever you cross their mind. They know you are not just another person. You are a force for good, a force to reckon with, and they do not take that lightly. No. That's why being entangled with a narcissist is not just psychological. It is spiritual warfare. They see the light within you, and it burns them, reminding them of everything they lack and everything they can never be. The narcissist is aware of your potential to shine brightly, to live with purpose, and to create positive change in the world. And that is what makes them frantic. They're driven by dark forces that exist to manipulate, suppress, and control. In the face of your divinity, they become desperate to keep you down, to destroy that light before it fully blossoms. In today's episode, I am going to break down the four ways a narcissist goes to war with your light. I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Welcome to my channel. Number one, they desperately try to alter your self-concept. The first move a narcissist will make is to dismantle the way you see yourself. Your greatness threatens their very existence. So they will stop at nothing to convince you that you aren't as good as you truly are. They know that your light shines brightly and it casts an uncomfortable glare on their darkness, their insecurities, their lack of integrity, and their deep self-loathing. They will chip away at your confidence by projecting their own flaws onto you. You will hear statements like, you are not that amazing, come on, you're, not, you're so full of yourself, you think you are better than everyone? These aren't just projections, they are part of a calculated strategy to make you question your own value. Slowly, they will try to rewrite your brain into believing these lies. They want you to stop trusting your gut, to disconnect from your inner wisdom, and to internalize this false image they have crafted for you. The less you believe in your true self, the easier it is for them to manipulate and control you. And that is the whole goal, to break your connection with your light so you are more dependent on them for your sense of worth. Number two, they block your divine calling. Narcissists do not just aim to knock down your self-esteem, no. They want to keep you from fulfilling your soul's purpose. Very important. They see your potential, your mission, and they are terrified of it. Whether your purpose is to inspire, heal, create, or uplift others, they know that your light will make an impact on the world around you. And that is a problem for them. You see, narcissists are deeply connected to destructive energies. They're demonic. They thrive on manipulation, control, and suppression. If you step into your divine calling, if you live out your true purpose, you represent everything they stand against. So what do they do? They sabotage your journey. They keep you entangled in their chaos, creating endless distractions, emotional traps, and unnecessary drama. Every time you focus on their games, you lose precious time that could be spent living your purpose. It is intentional. They want you so consumed with putting out fires that you can't even think about your dreams. They know the longer they keep you busy with their mess, the more they delay your rise. And as long as you are distracted, they are safe. Number three, they steal your energy. Have you ever noticed how uh, completely exhausted you feel after spending time with a narcissist? That is because they are energy vampires. I have said it so many times. They feed off your vitality to keep themselves going. Every interaction, every argument, every moment spent with them is a moment they siphon off your energy to feed their empty soul. The narcissist is like a bottomless pit. They cannot generate their own light or joy, so they have to take yours. Simple. 
But hair is where it gets really bad. They know that when you are drained and depleted, you can't manifest your full potential. And your potential is the biggest threat to their ego. The more they exhaust you, the less you are able to focus on your dreams, your goals, and your growth. This constant drain isn't just about control. It's about survival for them. They need your energy to feel alive, but at the same time, they fear your greatness. Isn't that crazy? The more tired you are, the less you can shine. And that is exactly what they want. To keep you small, weak, and too fatigued to break free from their grip. Number four, they fill you with hopelessness and despair. A narcissist is not satisfied with simply draining your energy. They want to fill you with a deep sense of hopelessness. It is not enough for them to make you tired. They want you to feel like there is no escape, that your situation is unchangeable, and that no one will ever understand what you are going through. They'll keep, they'll plant seeds of despair in your mind, making you think that you are isolated, that no one will believe your story, that you are stuck in this dark situation forever. Why do they do this? Because when you feel hopeless, you stop fighting back. You stop searching for a way out. And once you stop resisting, they have full control over you. But here is the truth. That hopelessness is an illusion. Understand that. It's something they create to keep you trapped, but your light is still there, burning beneath the surface. You gotta get in touch with it. You aren't as alone as they want you to believe. And there is a way out. The narcissist knows that once you find hope again, their days of control are over. That's why they fight so hard to keep you in a state of despair. Because they know that as long as you believe in your power, they have no hold over you. That was number four. I hope you found this episode insightful and uplifting. If you did, let me know in the comments and share your experiences. I will talk to you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.